we have FX's own Mario, aka Wobbles, versus Apollo Games' own Ark. Uh, this has been the match that we've been watching uh, week over week, and um, Wobbles has done the first thing, which was defeat JF, which was uh, a bit of his demon. Uh, now he's taking again, taking on Ark, and this is in losers, folks. So if you don't win here, you get to go home. So. Let's see what they can bring to the table. Already a great start. Ark is showing off his Falco today, which has been pretty clean. He's had great moments. Ooh, smash. Austin, Austin's playing amazing today. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I truly believe it. I, I, I straight up commentators curse Austin. I'm so sorry when you watch this. You're gonna know it was all my fault. But yes. you're gonna come back from it. Yeah, we'll, we'll calling see. it because that's what I was saying, dude. He's All night he's been, factors. he gets bodied and then he makes the comeback. Yeah, 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 yeah. And outplays them. Those clutch factors. Like, he's adapting hard, he under down pressure. Down he's already decided I'm not switching characters no matter what happens. Did he say that? Or is he, okay. Tonight. 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 Okay, yeah. that's fair. I want to see what he brings out to the table, but this is going to be good. And I mean, Wobbles is committed anyway to the Mario, so you know what? We're here to have some fun. This is good. Oh, yes. Good up B, straight out of shield. Good up tilt, up air. Oh, my gosh. Forward Arc smash. Ark just DIs up and in all three hits, and he's oh, doing it again because he, he wants to live, but it's so dangerous because he's getting combo for it. What a great read on the getup attack. Just saw that coming and then said full punish. We've seen Wobbles tonight do just fantastic things off of simply up throw mm -hmm. and just takes them off the stage and then wreck them left and right. It's been such a pleasure to watch. Good forward throw, opting okay. for position over damage, though. Coming up the, I don't like that, coming up on stage with the dare. Like, he ran out of his invincibility and then, like, just went into shield. And it was so dangerous. Dude. And Mario was, like, within F smash range. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I'm a much bigger fan of jumping onto the stage and using lasers. Um, okay, he go ahead. just did that as you said that. Yeah. But yeah. have you noticed Mango been getting punished for that at every tournament for, like, the last month? Yeah. It, and it, it's not because it, ooh. it's not, it's not exactly safe. But I'm not even saying, like, oh, it's just a bad option. Like, I'm saying, like, <laughs> you can't do the same thing no, all the time. Exactly, because people are going to, uh, I mean, you're playing against Wobbles. This man he literally studies cognitive science. Mm -hmm. It's like he's mm -hmm. in your dome. Okay, good good pressure. It's all about having multiple levels of the Yomi, understanding those levels of the opponent. Good and, bears, uh, good bears. So oh, Ark's inspired by me because I, I got a shield break earlier tonight with Falco. Oh, yeah. Just by doing back airs. I told him about <laughs> it, so now he's drawing inspiration from the thin net. Oh, yes. That's a, that's a powerful place to draw inspiration from, I'm just saying. Good Nair. Seeing if he can hold it out. Interesting cape. No! Technical well, flub! Okay. I don't want to see those. No, but at the same time... Let's see what he's bringing to the table. Yeah. This is the up throw that we were talking about. Up throw, up tilt is so cute. That's all I have to say. Mario's hand gets really big. Can we talk about that? Pop, the, pop right up. Get caught. Done! Okay. Wow. JV2. That was that was really clean. Austin has his already thinking about the next game phase. Like. Yeah, yeah. You can you can definitely see that, man. Ark is just. And now he lets it go. Yeah. He says, "What did I do right? What did I do wrong? How am I going to fix this?" All right, let's go. And it's a, it's that simple to him. Yeah, the thing people don't people don't understand that like you yes you have to make mental note of the things that happen during a match. Right. But you can't just be consciously thinking of like a list of things during your match. Because it's too and much that, it's RAM It's hard to, to learn up. the balance, but yes, yeah. exactly. You need your mental faculties all present for decision making. Right. It's it's a hard balance to make because so when it comes, I, I like to make analogies where it's like the human mind is similar to the computer, or rather the computer was modeled after the human mind. But this idea of constant, uh, like you know how many digits it takes, like I think it's six or seven digits until the mind is maxed out on its capacity of like the amount of data that oh, it contains. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you think of So you of start that, blocking. Yeah. Exactly. And then everything else just kind of falls apart. Is that what it's called? No, it's called chunking. Uh, it's something like that. Yeah. I, I think of it just in terms of, uh, of just RAM, right? There's only a certain amount, there's a fixed amount of RAM that we have available and readily accessible of data that we want to pull and retain. Mm -hmm. And it's, as soon as the match is over, you need to take some of that RAM and stash it in your hard drive and access it later. But it's gonna be a little bit harder right. to come to it, right? That's right, and people don't, people, like young players, I mean young in their career with Melee. You know, sure, they, of course. They Newer don't know players. how to stash it in their hard drive for later. Yeah. They, they're like, it's like, and I still have this problem sometimes, I'm like, what if it doesn't come back to me later? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, so I just have to keep thinking about it, but you sabotage yourself that way because you're not focusing on the decisions you need to make. Ooh. In the match. But forward smash, great decision. How is he finishing his stock? 
Yes, there it is. But here's so here's what I think, Linda, is that I think that what it all comes down to is just asking a simple question of why. And I think that if we can just people start answering asking that question, then fantastic. That's that's the first step to making sure you're becoming a better player day after day. That's the thing about like sandbagging and yawning is such a waste of everybody's time. Like, it really is. Like it's a waste of your own time. Right. Because you're not asking why. You're pr you're doing that thing where like not you, but you know hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, you, hypothetical. It's it's that thing where you you say, oh well, I asked myself why, but like. It's like you don't ask a question if you don't really want the answer. Like, don't yeah. bother asking why if you're just going to say to yourself, oh, well, he played a dumb character. No, yeah, you know, or et cetera. Take the hard truth. Like, the there truth. actually is always a reason. There's always an option. And it's accessible to you. You can find it out. Yeah. And so if you just blame something outside of the game, it is your fault. Yeah, and that's that's the big thing is that I feel like that fighting games. Ooh, good forward smash. Is he going to clean, though? Back air? No, he's just going to hold ledge. Fantastic finish. The, the, the biggest thing that it comes down to is credibility. And you guys can all read Playing to Win by David Serlin. It's a fantastic read. Um, it's one of the best books, I think, out there. If you want to really have, obtain the mentality it takes to be a champion, to be someone who's willing to learn and advance and grow in not only fighting games, but competitive games and even life, it's a fantastic read. So highly recommend it. It's a completely free, uh, great read. But I, all these sort of techniques and things that okay. we were talking about have been implemented Two in this stock match. Two by Ark. That was a really quick, decisive dare. I love Gosh. it. Gosh. Wobbles and is laughing, but but honey, you just got stuck. Yeah. It happened. But honey, <laughs> like so. This this is the thing. Is like I keep telling Falcos. They're like, so if it's coming towards the last stocks. Or, or, and you're playing from ahead, I don't care. Go off the ledge and dare him and take the risk. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're at the higher percentages. Because if you hit confirm, homie, you just won. Just do it. Just just pull out your inner Shia and just mm, do it. That's right, that's right. But this neutral has been interesting, dominated back and forth by projectiles. Neither one of them have found their way of opening each other up. Because mm -hmm. you see Mufobia looking so hard to see if he can, uh, excuse me, Ark, to be getting that, that shine to open him up and get it, those multiple combo options out of it. Granted, move fantastic and known for it. Um, but Mario's been doing a good job of just really setting up for using fireballs, and then you want to see jabs in the down smash. That down smash has been absolute gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love how I said gold, and there comes the up B, and I take all the points. It's great. But um, absolute gold, good especially nair, on nair. the ledge guarding. I want to say before the next talk, Ark made a really smart decision earlier to roll left on that right platform. Right. Which he wasn't doing before, like he wasn't doing previously. But now I'm like, did he spend that option too early? Like, has Wobbles downloaded it? Yeah. You know, like, is it going to come back? Okay. But he's coming. All right, so still back in neutral. Three stocks apiece. We'll see how deep the oh. rabbit hole goes. That was presumptuous. He knew he didn't have that spacing. Oh. Okay, Trace. Up Sick tilt, movement. Up airs. Mario gets three more hits off of a smart movement decision. Literally one wave land. That's a top player. Oh, where was I, I was hoping to see some sort of retort to uh, Ark, but nothing. Uh, no response from Wobbles. Okay. Interesting. Went in for that dare. Well spaced towards the ground. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't so well spaced. But also, it's. Not exactly a frame trap, but you know when uh, when Mario winds up his F smash, right. it sort of has a dodging effect. Because it changes box. the hurt boxes, exactly, yeah. yeah. It's the same idea. It's like as a Peach's F smash, smashes. Falcon's yeah. F smash. Yeah, it's the same idea. Yeah. Because you move the hurt box back. It's the equivalent of, for you Dudley players, it's that short swing blow. You move that hurt box back, come in with that counter hit. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff finishing off the stock, though, but you do have Wobbles at 111%. It's just going to take one forward smash to finish him off. Can he do it? Because we've been seeing Ark just get those raw forward smashes and just doing them so Did cleanly. you see him just hop over that fireball? Oh! And then he gets the F smash! What did I say, baby? Like you were talking about this. Uh! <laughs> and he's, be he's being so patient. That's my dude. I felt it. I couldn't curse it. I just let you talk. <laughs> and you made it happen. Somehow you you just bless the players. Like <laughs> They literally just do stuff when you say, wouldn't this be cool? Like, <laughs> And when I say it, they totally do the opposite. Like, what's wrong with me? No. <laughs> Bless, I'm blessed different. by the thin man. I'm, I'm different. <laughs> Yo, two chains in it. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. All right. Really, really tight game, though. <laughs> Y'all, it's hard not to laugh when something I'm, like this is Dude, going it's on too raw. Like it's too raw. Okay, he's just chilling on the ledge. I, all he cares about is protecting that. That wasn't, he came up too early. He did. He the thing is, if you're if you're going to commit to 
a second leg chop, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, like, are you really just going to come up right after it with an aerial? Like, he didn't... He didn't premeditate it. He was just like, he was just doing I, I'm it. at my limit. Like, okay, now I have to come back on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he really didn't. You just have to you have to be smart about your timing because people are going to know their tendencies, especially guys like Wobbles, yeah. who are just sitting there thinking cognitively. Like, people have this tendency where I, I'm i going to wait X amount of frames or X amount of time, and then they, they get antsy, and then they're going to do it. It's the same feeling as yeah. when you see someone standing in front of you and they're shielding, and it's like, I know you're going to drop shield. Oh, my. Mm. Uh, just See? Look, it works. It works. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Like, it's that feeling that you get where you know they're feeling uncomfortable every, and all they want to do yeah. is drop shield or roll or do something else. Some sort of action. And some e sort of Every commitment. action, every every movement, mm -hmm. every every non-action is a decision. something that garners a reaction. Yeah, absolutely. In some way, shape, or form. Wobbles, just playing real clean like yeah. taking that game. Okay, you know what? That was a good set. That was a fantastic set. I People be saying, oh, they're playing their secondary. It's like, yeah, but that was hype. He's taking it. He's taking it to Evo, man. He's going to take that Mario to Evo. He's going to do his work. And I'm excited to see it. Y'all better Dude. be taking notes right now because Wobbles, that Mario is on point. Yeah, Wobbles trying to break top 100 at Evo, right, with Mario. I believe yeah. it. Oh, my goodness.